probably about eight or nine weeks in now and um it's been a bit of a challenge but one that i've really enjoyed and uh yeah look i'm just really thankful to have an opportunity like this and um yeah hopefully could throw my name in the half for the end of june and there's a couple of tournaments in the past few weeks how's that gone for you yeah it was it, you know it was a big step up for me and you know obviously we built into it with Kinsale and then london and, and amsterdam last weekend so um yeah look it was a big you know obviously it's a different game it presents its challenges but um yeah look i'm really enjoying it i'm learning loads and uh, it's given me a bit of a new lease of life so it's, it's great and now you're looking into the European Championships this weekend. How's preparations going for that? Yeah, it's going really well. I think girls are you know, really eager. There's been a big buzz around the squad. And, um, you know, I think it's just another step in the preparation for, for the end of June. And, um, you know, it's, it's not just about the 12 girls that take to the pitch at that weekend. It's about everybody. And, um, in fairness, you know, they're probably one of the most hardworking groups I've ever got to work with. So, look, it's, it's all really positive. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a good turnout this weekend in Kazan and then, then it'll start building then towards UCD. And as a dual code player now, how are you find the sevens? It's got to have uh, long term benefits for yourself. Oh yeah, look, definitely I suppose whatever about the skill level and fitness alone, it's, it's definitely helped me and um, you know, I definitely feel like you're training day in day out, you have your hands on the ball, you're getting more used to it. So um, look, uh, hopefully it's going to benefit my, my 15s game for the next year in a bit and um, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's been great really. Thank you.